Uh, my name is Simon Ojaga. I'm from Omaha West Local Government Area of Edo State. I studied Auchi Polytechnic Auchi. I grew up in Abuja. I was born in Lagos. I think my early art should have seen inspiration begin in primary school. Because I always drew the figures on the Naira notes. So I was into okay with the whole brush technique of painting because I didn't feel satisfied well. I always didn't feel okay after finishing every piece and I didn't think every piece was finished. Then I think using um, lines and um, the technique I use for kind of like rendering those short lines made it a bit um, satisfying, I guess. First, it's the sketch. The draftsmanship has to be good first. And I think for my draftsmanship, I took a lot of time. And initially, it had a little bit of conflict because the draftsmanship were a bit strong and the colors were strong. So it took me a lot of time to like understand to balance which. And I think I got to understand that by reducing, using a limited color palette with a good rendering of um, figures. I think I was just trying to like make the classic kind of African look with the long nose and the eyes and those kind of like um, semicircle kind of like eye bracket or something like that. Then for the fabrics, I kind of think of it as the African prints, the one, the African ones where you use them, they carve wooden patterns on a surface, then add colors, then make prints gradually. So that's what I try to like implicate there or replicate there, I would say. I just believe there's something unique about every person. So that's why I tend to like add gold to every figure. I think about things a lot, try to like find reasons why things happen. Then I think I got to a book called, um, a book by Marcus Aurelius, or I would say meditation. Yeah, so I've kind of like, I've been digging into it. Like I keep on listening to it every time. So it kind of like inspired my, should I say the nar narratives behind my figures on them. Um, I kind of like work on stoic mannerisms. The faces doesn't have to be smiling, doesn't have to be frowned, just fixed. Just like how I believe everyone should um, relate with life, interact with life, like nothing bad really happens. It's just life happening and on from there, something else might happen. And I don't think life really means bad for anybody. It's just you taking it to heart too much. If your light pass, something good might happen. That is if you really want something to happen. Someone like kind of like told me about a book to like read. It's called um, The Alchemist by Paulo. Yeah. So I think I'm into that now for now. And I think something definitely might spill out from me digesting the book. It's not about just reading it, like kind of like comprehend each page and what he means and try. And I think the part for me basically what I understand from, from the book is about universal conspiracy where everything in the universe kind of like conspire to like make your dreams come true i think that part is trying to like make a i want to make a, like a visual representation of something that means or that defines that word i like photography but i don't take pictures i like looking at pictures by other photographers so those inspire movies i think there's a movie called um ready player one by steven spielberg i like that one I like most all his movies, and I also like fantasies and sci-fi, so. The routine behind my creative pro process basically will be movies first. Then I love looking at pictures from photographers, basically. I like the poses and every other thing. And secondly, for music, I don't listen to music while sketching. After I'm done with the whole sketching process, I think when leading to the whole color applications, that's when I listen to music because I think there's a lecturer of mine in Auchi. He always says it, it, it's like calculating. It has to be calm and you have to listen to your thoughts and everything because sometimes even if you calculate after sketching, you have to step back, understand the figures. You can even correct even when you're seeing um, some things from pictures and so your eyes have to like speak to the work and try to balance up. So after that, I, I think I listen to music a lot. The process for me, it's first, it's something about 
it's emotional i have to be patient and there's this um anxiety of like wanting to see how the work looks like at the end 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 of the day like even while sleeping I still think about going going back and try to like finish it but still the process and the technique just has to follow i work for a bit allow the work, the color to like cool or dry then take another step mm -hmm.